muscles of the arm and forearm can be divided into an anterior and a posterior group. Muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm include the biceps brachii, the coracobrachialis, and the brachialis muscles. The main muscle of the posterior compartment of the arm is the triceps brachii. Another small muscle that can be considered both a muscle of the arm and the forearm is the anconius muscle. However, we'll not discuss it further in this tutorial as this muscle is often morphologically and functionally classed as a continuation of the triceps. If you want to find out more about the anconius muscle and the other muscles of the arm, feel free to check out our more in-depth videos on the muscles of the arm. Okay, let's now take a look at the muscles of the anterior arm in a little more detail. The biceps brachii muscle is one of the major muscles of the arm. Its name comes from the Latin bi, meaning two, and caput, meaning head. It has a long head and a short head. The biceps brachii muscle extends over two joints, the shoulder joint and the elbow joint, meaning that it contributes to movement at both of them. The coracobrachialis muscle is a small muscle that lies beneath the biceps brachii. Its name is derived from its origin and location. Coraco indicates this muscle's origin at the coracoid process of the scapula, while brachialis indicates that it is located within the brachial or arm region. This muscle only acts on the shoulder joint. A final muscle in the anterior compartment of the arm is the brachialis muscle. This muscle sits tucked behind the lower portion of the biceps brachii muscle and can be quite hard to find. The brachialis muscle is a large and powerful muscle that acts only on the elbow joint. It is the main and most powerful flexor of the forearm at the elbow. Now that we are familiar with the muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm, let's take a quick look at the posterior compartment. The triceps brachii muscle is the main muscle of the posterior compartment. As we saw with the biceps brachii, which is a two-headed muscle, the triceps brachii is given its name because it has three heads. Here we can see the long head and the lateral head, and peeking through we can just about make the medial head. The triceps brachii muscle is a powerful muscle that acts at both the shoulder and elbow joints. Now that we've had a look at the anterior and posterior muscles of the arm, let's see how they act on the shoulder and elbow joint as they contract. Muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm are predominantly flexors. Depending on their origin, these three muscles will either flex the arm at the shoulder or flex the forearm at the elbow. Some muscles will also contribute to other movements such as adduction of the arm and supination of the forearm. The movement that occurs in the posterior arm is quite simple. The triceps brachii muscle extends the arm and forearm posteriorly at the shoulder and elbow joints. If you found this quick anatomy video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.